This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. So do you think, like... <laughs> Welcome somebody, back, everyone. Like, there would be people who, like, refused to shuck... I don't think I think he would just happen it would fall off I think he'd I think he'd have to like you'd have to like wriggle out of it you know like like a lizard sort of but I think people yeah. would definitely develop like neurological disorders where either they shucked too late or too soon <laughs> like yeah. your underskin's yeah. not ready but you just start scratching away the top layer and they get sort oh, of like weird God. and deformed the, the earth would be such a much more gross place if that's a thing that happened and if you leave it on too long, you'll get, like, infected. Like, if someone's in a stressful situation and there's no, like, safe place to just strip down and shut themselves. Like, you, you would just be walking around in a big old, like, like your butt, your entire dermis would be like a shit condom, you know? You'd just be sloshing around <laughs> in it. Oh, my boy. <laughs> just getting infections and stuff. So you, you'd want to do it, like, so, at the right time. So gross. There'd be drugs. There'd be lots of drugs for people like if, who, who it, didn't it, want to or, or like, to schedule it. Like, if you were, like, depressed, like, you know, I, I and I'm sure many of our viewers struggle with depression from time to time. And basic acts <laughs> of self-care, like just hopping in the shower, you know, can sometimes be like, a, I don't know, it's a whole mental obstacle course to make yourself do it. Imagine if you had also had to shed your skin. Like, you would just be, you could get really unhealthy really quickly. You get whole, you get whole, like... YouTubers going like, I'm in a really bad place, guys. I've got uh, five whole uh, shuck piles in my bedroom right now. And I just, oh, I know I need to get rid of them. I, I, I can't, just can't even walk them to the skin shoot. I it's, can't it's, even walk I know them it's just down the hall. <laughs> like, you know you'll feel better if you shed your skin, but the shit skin you already shed is sitting like shit laundry in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is the worst timeline. What's that? I don't want that. I don't want that. And then the opposite, where you get people who were like really anxious, like high anxiety folks, where like you get this irrational sense that you need to shuck, but you're not ready to do it yet. So there's like, you know, just like blood and, you know, your, your skin's underdeveloped underneath. So you develop like lesions and infections and shit. This is not probably what our audience was planning on when they decided to watch Freddy Farkas come to your farm. <laughs> like, you get a bunch of anxious teens, like, instead of acne, they're going around with, like, missing eyes and fingers and teeth because they preemptively shed them their skin too early. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. that Alex's response to that was to finish his thought. I just, I had, I had, like I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't no, be you able had to, to get it out there. I wouldn't be you able to sleep tonight if I didn't. <laughs> you had to, sh you had to shuck that thought. Yeah, Better exactly. Better finish shucking that thought. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I mean, love it. let's uh, let's give a, a nice hot apple pie to the uh, to the sheriff. Great idea. Now. Well, here you go, Sheriff Shift. I, I found some of Mom's nice hot apple pie for you now. I know how much a law enforcement person like yourself enjoys a sweet, fatty breakfast. Yeah. I, I read that too fast. No, it's good. Score! Wow, thank you. I've been so hungry I could eat a bear. <laughs> this will sure go good with that cup of coffee you brung me earlier. That was just a few seconds ago. Uh, Sheriff? Do you happen to have anything I could use to clean these old guns of mine before I leave town? Well, they're mighty dirty, and I, I want to be prepared for my long journey. Blink. Okay, son, but this gun cleaning kit will be the last thing I give you. Now get your guns cleaned. Get your horse packed and get your ass out of my town. This feels mildly antagonistic. Uh, well, he's an is, antagonist. Isn't he an antagonist? <laughs> he's an antagonist. He's one of them. 
Yeah. All right. All right. So we've, we've amassed a, uh, a, a set of things. A set of things. The rudiments uh, of an outfit. Yeah. We're not quite done yet. We got a little bit more to do. I just realized um, there's one part still remaining that I need to take care of here. So I'm going to go and take care of that. But oof, we're getting close. Getting close to the end of the third act. Are we seriously getting that close to the end of the third act? We are. Oh. 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 You guys oh are almost my. out of time to send us some Freddy pharmacists. This would also be a good time, probably. Did we get through all of our comments and... Well, okay. So, yeah. But no. Um, helpful Mummy. 12 Op was like, I like the helpful money, but your victim is really frustrated rather than scared by your incessant presence through his day. Yes, we went through Buzkashi. 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 An example of the helpful mummy is we've all been in that circumstance where you're out the door and you're like, where are my fucking keys? And you're starting to lose patience or like get frustrated or whatever. Or maybe everyone else is way calmer than me and like I'm the asshole. But anyway, you're looking for your keys or something and you're starting to lose your mind. And like, just as you're like turning around all frustrated, the mummy is just standing there holding the keys out silently <laughs> and it scares the shit out of you when you're at your most <laughs> agitated. <laughs> that might be enough. To get rid of the agitation. Uh, Shane, fun for Algernon, uh, would happily be a guest that aggravate, uh, aggravates me with the love of all sports. No, thank you. 12 Op finds the, find the sports talk funny. Uh, uh, but as a dad, I often find myself needing to talk about sports and actually enjoy when other dads start talking to me about it. Like I know something or care. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Because it means my chameleon circuit is malfunctioning. Doctor Who reference. Respect. Uh, I, yeah, love it. Uh, Spivey, hope we're staying safe. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. We're, sta we're staying safe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Corinne, we're both sticking and staying to the yeah. best of our ability. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're not on fire. Canada's huge. Uh, I once annoyed uh, Matt by making a D&D &D character of mine sound like Don Knotts for the game's <laughs> DNA. That was Corinne, and I remember that. And yes, it was annoying. Okay, I was going to ask, can oh, you corroborate? I can't, I can't even do a Don Knotts, but Corinne could. To this day, I bet she still can. That's good. Uh, Fun for Algernon says, Luke, the smoke has engulfed us here in Ottawa, and say it won't clear for at least a week. What do you recommend? That is our pharmacist. Him. Yeah, yeah, I responded to him, so I apologize uh, in advance. But um, yes, I did. Uh, I I said um, because he said that you know the smoke is not expected to clear for at least a week. Um, you know that you should close all of your windows and doors to make sure that the smoke is not seeping into your house. Uh, it will be inevitable that some does, so you're going to need also. A uh, air f air filter. Well, you said this in the last episode. Yeah. Um, and then since you're gonna be locked up in your house for a week, just start watching Sierra Saturday from the beginning. Absolutely. Um, and I believe right now it is the equivalent of eight straight days of content. <laughs> so by the time it ends, by the time you get back to Freddy Farkas, uh, it will be um, it'll be gone. Hopefully, the smoke. Yeah. If not. Start over. Co comment on every uh, comment on some old uh, old posts. We won't get back to them. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably miss them. We'll probably miss them. Um, yeah, you know. Also, play one of those many. Uh, pl play uh, Diablo or Street Fighter or Zelda. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Because what year is it? Or Resident Evil. Or Resident Evil. Because what year is it? Um, Strategy and Snark had a sociology professor declare. Uh, that sports must involve a ball. No ball, not a sport. That's fucking horrible. That feels reductive. I appreciate a hard wrong <laughs> stance, though. A hard wrong yeah. stance? Yeah, absolutely. Like, if you're gonna be wrong, you might as well be wrong harder than everybody else. <laughs> 
<laughs> you spent half of every class talking about the recent college American football games. You know that game that claims that its mutant hand egg is a ball. <laughs> <laughs> He sounds he sounds hateable. I can see why you hated him. Yeah. I feel like you can reasonably call like a lot of martial arts sports. Yeah, I think you yeah, can like, call like, a lot. Like wrestling. It's in the Olympics. Yeah. You know, wrestling it's a, is a sport. It's a physical contest. It seems fairly sporting a, to me. Yeah, it is a contest of physical prowess. We're getting dangerously close to talking about sports again. Though. Let's yeah, not you do fucking that to are. I'm about to shut it down. For Spivey's sake and mine. <laughs> All right. I'm All right. Done. Let's continue playing the game. But your professor was wrong. Fuck him. Nice bit of wax you got there, Sonny. Good for lost wax casting. <laughs> that reminds me, I was gonna finish whittling a pair of keys. Well, I'll get to it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Get out of there. <laughs> but we're going back in. That guy's crazy. Oh. Sure is. From the back, you hear Chester say, Help yourself, I'll be right on. Help yourself, I'll be right on. Nice bit of wax you got there, son. That good for lost wax. That yes, reminds me I was going to finish with a pair of skis. Oh, I'll get to it tomorrow. <laughs> Not doing that again. I refuse. I'm out. What's happening here? Don't be jostling my arm, son. You'll mess up my whittling. I was supposed to. He's supposed to leave. He's supposed to leave. Yeah. Let me just go a little bit further away and back in. All right. All right. Well, he, he, the implication that he's going to go and fix some skis or whatever is that, um, you know, he, he is now going to go and leave and do that. Do I need to talk to him? Okay, let me just try talking to him. Whittling Willie. Thunderation, boy, ain't you got nothing better to do than interrupt when I'm whittling? Gee, sorry, it's just that you're a colorful old character, and I enjoy hearing tall tales of Western folklore from your oral traditions. You just keeping my oral traditions out of this, son. Don't you got a pharmacy to run? Ain't you got customers to wait on? Eh, I guess so. Then get along, move them on, head them up, cut them up, tie them in, write them in, turn them in, cut them out. Okay, okay. He didn't leave. I want to talk to him one more time. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Now do I? If I give him the legs? Alright. There are more things for us to do, so I'll, I'll just hope that that set whatever flag needs to be set. Um... Sometimes I feel like colleagues and co-workers try to do that to me. They'll just go away and come back with the same question, as if expecting a different mm -hmm. answer. I, I don't understand that behavior. It's like, nothing else has changed. Are you hoping that I have changed? <laughs> <laughs> like, did you go and hope that somewhere in the world you set a hidden flag such that my answer will be different? Because it is the same. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Oh no, what do you gotta do? My cleaning kit? Yes, it is. Uh, you want me to read it? Sheriff Schiff's gun cleaning kit. He may be a low-down, corrupt, no-good varmint, but he's got the cleanest pistol in town. Or so says Madam Overy. <laughs> I mean, his dick. His dick. His dick. Score. With the Sheriff's cleaning kit, you lovingly clean and polish your old pistols till they're like new. You remove a fair amount of rust from the barrel, a damn good thing, or you might have had a disaster on your hands. Yeah. I saw a video the other day about a guy who was maimed by an exploding gun. Mm, that it's, a, nice. it's Grizzly. It was a, who was the guy? He slipped the bullets in the chamber, all the old memories come rushing back to you. 
Even the ones about you and your first cousin under the daybed back when you was a curious eight-year-old. Wow. 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 It's the fellow from Kentucky Ballistics. I I, oh, I, wow. I, I I became aware of the guy from Kentucky Ballistics because he appeared on the Slow Mo Guys channel. Uh, and he talked uh, about his experience with an exploding gun. And they recommended the video where his gun exploded. And I too recommend that video because it is fucking chilling. It's... <laughs> I mean, I don't intend ever to fire a gun, so it won't really happen to me. But it was fascinatingly horrible, the events as they broke down. That doesn't uh, doesn't feel like the kind of thing that I'm uh, probably going to spend any time watching. Do oh, think... there's no like uh, he just he's it's him after the fact describing it. There's actually very little footage of the effect. Do you think that in in a case like that, that shucking your skin would solve mm -hmm. a lot of these problems? Like deep internal problems, no, but like little superficial problems, yeah. I think like like burns would be a thing of the past. Pretty much, yeah. Burns, scars, yeah. Uh, that particular species of tardigrade, it is not, for instance, every species, species of tardigrade. Some of them do have anuses. Um, Some tardigrades have anuses. Yes. T if you take anything away from this episode, yeah, remember that. Episode but, title. Uh, <laughs> the title. Uh, uh, the ones that don't, uh, they when they shed, they shed everything, like including teeth and stuff like that. Yeah. Like Those things yeah. are pretty superficial. So. Oh, shedding your teeth would be so good. Poor oh, like, if you got crooked teeth, just, like, yeah, just, you, it'll be fine when you shed. You know, you'll grow into them. <laughs> yeah. Or the new ones will grow in. Like, you'd be such a relief. You could be dating this girl, and she, like, will suddenly lose interest, and she's like, I really like the way you looked five sheds ago. <laughs> <laughs> This combination of, like, shedding and middle age is not working for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not into you. Bye. Oh, that's something we didn't discuss before. Well, sweetie, I'm about to try some target shooting. You ready? Oh, certainly. I am without desire to wait any further for to stand in front of your blazing guns and take my life into your hands to help you perfect your shooting. How do you want to start? Perhaps it would be besting if you place some targets upon the fence posts for a commencement. All right. One thing we didn't consider is that in this, you know, shuck timeline, people would... Uh, like, there'd be a type of body modification. What? What the hell? I'm one bad oh, Aubrey. Do your worst. I'm feeling pretty tough, but don't bust my chops. I had too much tequila last night. Go easy. Oh, I see. It's, it's a, a difficulty it's a rating. Game. Yeah. I was gonna go middle. Yeah, like piercings. You couldn't do piercings. But I think what you would do is like you'd bind your skin in certain ways to modify how you would look when you emerged from your skin. Yeah, that's fair. I will toss the bottles in the air. Good luck and may the best man win. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, it's just giving you like a noise effect? Freddy Farkas, let's try some quick drawing. Just make sure to hit the target and not me. Don't shoot, Srini. Oh my god, is this a real arcade game? Can you imagine what Manhunter would be like if it was this good? I'm applauding yeah. inside myself. Now for the big challenge of all. Six bottles at once. 
Oh, Jesus. That was too much. That one was automatic, I think. Say, Freddy Farkas, you are not so bad after all this shooting gig. Well, thanks, Trini. My life and the lives of every man, woman, and ruminant in this town depend on me being quick with a gun. Ruminants like that fuck sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you not mention earlier that your life is in danger most forthcoming? Most? Yeah, something like that. Might I then suggest that you'll be excellent placing disguise upon your person, thereby making it a, to appearances that Freddy Farkas has no longer around this locality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good thinking, Srini. I need a disguise of some sort, something that will strike terror into the hearts of the bad guys. I know. A bat. I'll disguise myself as a bat. And you could be Srini, the boy wonder. Have you got leotards? Pardon me for asserting, but this bat thing is really hokey. You're right, too juvenile. Let's see, uh... How about... Might I suggest a skin-tight costume with a flowing cape placed upon a manly chest there of a large F for Farkas? No, that'd never work. I don't want people to know I'm Freddy, remember? Then perhaps you are needing to do something about that right ear. Or rather, the lack of that right ear. Dang it, you're right. Everyone knows me as the one-eared pharmacist. I need to make a new one somehow. Maybe forge one out of metal or something. Hey! I'll give it some thought and meet you back at the pharmacy once I've completed my disguise. There you go. There you go. There you go. You did it. Everyone, I'm so proud of all of you. For the work I've done. And uh, for for sharing your comments with us, really does make our week shine, you know. My mom's cafe is closed. It does, though. Yeah. Mom's cafe. Oh, absolutely. Is closed. Hear, hearing from you guys is a real highlight. Really makes our days just a little easier, you know, when we're having a hard week. Almost bearable. Yeah. The door swings open from the back of here. Help yourself. I'll be right out. He never does, though. He never comes out. Nope. It's, a, it's an ongoing theme. Of course. Willie, I'm in need of a way to disguise my ear. Do you think you could do something creative with this? Perhaps shape it into an ear or something? That's not what he said, but I don't care. Offhand, I'd say do it your dang self. Nap time's coming up shortly. I had a hard day of whittling, but... Maybe you could do maybe some lost wax casting with this sucker do the trick. Whatever. I don't care. I, I said it. I'm sticking with it. Lost what? Lost wax casting, son. What you do? Sleep your way through a metal shop? I, I guess I must have. What's lost wax casting? That's casting with an apostrophe, son, not an ing. Anywho... You can make all sorts of things by making a wax positive, using the clay to make a mold, and then melting it down the metal and pouring it into the mold. Not sure why you wouldn't just use the wax thing if I'm just it here. To make a mold, you carve out whatever you want to cast wax. See, that's what we call a positive. Once you got a wax positive, you take some clay, see, you pack the clay all around the positive. You just leave a little hole at the top so you can get the wax out. So now you got your wax inside the clay. Well, you just heat that sucker up till the wax goes all oozy and then pours the wax out. That's the lost wax part, see? Now you got your empty clay mold, which we call a negative. You smelt down your metal and pour the metal into the negative. Once it hardens up, you, you can just scrape off the clay, and there you are. Did you get all that? I, I think so. I, I'm not sure. Well, 
What's your restore buttons for, kid? Now scrambooch! <laughs> That's good. It's a good one. You can uh, actually do the same with 3D printed things if you've got a PLA printer. I do have a PLA printer. Yeah, you can print yourself a, a positive packet in clay, kiln the shit out of it to turn the PLA into noxious chemicals, basically. <laughs> and then uh, pour metal into the mold. And then you drink the noxious chemicals and be uh, unable you would, to enjoy the metal. You would you. inhale them, basically. Oh! I mean, you would avoid inhaling them, but if you wanted to ingest the chemicals. Yeah. Score. You pick up Whitlin Willie's knife just to borrow a while. Oh my god, it happened! Woohoo! With your newly acquired skills, you whittle the candle wax into the shape of an ear, one that should theoretically attach snugly to the small knot of cartilage that remains of your original ear. Ew! Where's the warning on the box that says, Warning! This game contains references to small knots of cartilage. Having inadvertently gunked up the knife good and proper with wax, you toss it away, hoping that Willie finds it sooner or later and thinks he stupidly dropped it. You carefully pack the clay in and around the wax ear, leaving some of it open so that you can pour the wax out later. Now where are we gonna we get molten metal, I ask you? I, I I realize that Willie's an addled fella, but I think he could solve that mystery. Because we came in asking him to whittle that wax for us, and then he left. And when he comes back, his knife is destroyed and all gunked up with wax. Now, to be fair, to be fair, uh -huh. he said do it yourself. So we fucking did. <laughs> that is true. You return. Yep. It is good to look upon your eternally smiling countenance of face again. Yeah, yeah, I missed you too. It's a silver medallion recently awarded to Srini by the American Society of Salves, Holistic Ointments, Liniments, and Emollient Salesmen. It was an honor and it was an impressive yet oddly comforting display of old Gampy's fisherman throat gullet descaler lozenges. <laughs> Horrifying. Horrifying. It's gonna melt it down. Score! You carefully take the medallion off of the wall thinking Srini will never miss it. <laughs> Freddy Farkas, what an entirely unsatisfactory afterlife are you doing with my finely earned silver medallion? It's going to a good cause, Srini. It's gonna help make the coarse gold a safer, saner place to live. I am hoping so, Freddy, for all the sakes. I'm going to melt it into a new ear. <laughs> well, we're just going to do this. We're just going to do the ear right now. We're still going. We're still going. Fuck. 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 <laughs> fuck, fuck, goose. Fuck, fuck, goose. Fuck, fuck, goose. All right. All right. <coughs> Maybe we should make the ear next episode. You want to? Okay, we can do that. No, it's now or never. Oh. Sorry, everyone. I'm just saying we're over time. Are we? I guess. We just ran kind of long last time. I'm not sure if we're up to about a half hour or not at this point. But you know what? Overall, two episodes. We're over an hour. There you go. You know, we do our best, but, you know... You know. I, it's not a fancy time of... What time is it there where you're at? Me? Yeah. Almost 9 p.m. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's almost Friday here. Three minutes. It's true. Three minutes to we're Friday. Gonna, we're going to run out of Thursday if we go I'm any running longer. out of Thursday. I got three minutes of Thursday left. He has Paul, so much to do this Thursday. Thursday. 
<laughs> no, I, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta take kids to school in the morning. You know, it's a whole thing. Uh, yeah, I understand. You know. so, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're I've only got to... a minute and thirty seconds left to eat all of the food that expires on Thursday in my no! fridge. <laughs> Also, yeah, yeah, we're, we're running up on, on the end of our time here, so, yeah, so let's go ahead and put a pin what, in that but, and we'll, uh, we'll reconvene. But everybody's going to want to see you make the ear first thing next week. It's going to be fucking oh boy, great. It might not happen next week. Watch us chew the oh, scenery until we run right. out of Thursday. That's right. You might be yeah. busy next week. I might be busy Ooh. next week. It's hard to say. Actually, you know, there's a very real chance that I'll be available to record next week. Certainly not the following, though. Alright, well, keep us posted. Uh, Everybody, we're gonna do our best. We're just trying to stick and stay. Yeah, for for reference, to actually give you warning for once, if we're not gonna be recording, um, my wife is visiting uh, from Korea, and uh, next week she'll be quote-unquote working from home, which means she'll be working roughly during these hours so um if she's you know in the living room on her computer working um i'll probably you'd not want to get out of, stay out of her hair anyway so i'll probably come over here and record yeah but the following week she she has vacation and most likely so do i as well so perfect yeah. so maybe yeah. maybe one next week definitely not one the yeah. week after so uh, yeah. keep keep your eyes Spicy. peeled. Not literally. Stop mm. peeling not, your eyes. Not unless not unless shucking is on the table, <laughs> and you know. Give it, I don't know whatever. if the shucking gives you new eyes because I don't think tardigrades have eyes. I think they've got like primitive eye spots. Anyway, we're at a Thursday. Oh Officially. shit! I'm fully in Friday Sorry, now. Everyone. You guys are all living in Saturday, but I'm I'm in Friday now. God, I'm damn. now impinging on Matt and Alex's Friday times. So. <laughs> impinging. <laughs> I love it. All right, everybody, take it easy, stick and stay. Uh, leave us your 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 fucking pharmacists and uh, your favorite REM song and uh, and thoughts about what else would be different in the Shuckaverse. Yeah, give us your Shuckaverse yeah. thoughts. I, strategy and, and, and snark. I know. I know for a fact. You have lots of insights about the Shuckaverse. And I want you to I want you to utilize REM lyrics to make a uh, to to write something short about the Shuckaverse. Yeah. That's that, that's that's optional, but you'll get way more extra points from us. Not yeah. that we've been giving out points, but have we? I have. I don't know. Uh, I've I've been keeping a tally. Oh good. Good. At least one of us has. Thanks, everybody. You guys are so freaking great. We're always going to remember you. We do. We do. I... <laughs> it's just a weird thing to it's promise. A weird, it's a weird thing to say. I guess I don't plan on forgetting any of them, but... Yeah. It would be really embarrassing if, like, in a year's time, uh, someone who, uh, who, like, sort of fell off of uh, regularly commenting, like, came back and was like, do, we, do you remember me? Maybe be like, no. I was picturing worse than that. I was picturing going about, like, my real life, and it's, like, 40 years from now, you know? <laughs> and I'm, I'm 72. And someone I've never seen before comes up to me and is like, hey, you're Alex, right? <laughs> Do you remember me? <laughs> and it's, it's one of our viewers, and I'm just like, no, I, I don't. I've never seen you. I'm grappling with senility due to a lifelong battle with insomnia. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. That would be horrible. Stick stick and stick and stick and stay, everybody. I will remember you while I remain on this side of my inevitable battle with senility. I'm just I'm just scrolling back to some of our old videos. Just, I'll make an effort to remember you. Yeah, we don't remember anything from week to week. There are quite frequently things that we forget. Although some, you know, many commenters do leave a lasting imprint on us. Yeah, yeah. You know? we I have... still remember that 
like really angry German dude who got really upset at us for swearing a lot in Police Quest 1. Yeah. Totally. We've had a lot of people comment on our stuff, but we've never, like, it's not, it's not, yeah. Some of them never came back. I wonder if Jessica still listens to us. Jessica Adamson. Yeah, I seem to recall her her commenting recently. JC Saron still around maybe yep. hopefully philip weisman weisman yeah yeah weisman um on, on very rare occasion plural will stick his head back in good old plural see we remember you okay. guys yeah i don't think he uh, i don't think he's he's here for the sierra games though so no he's not here for the that's sierra games yeah. that's all we that's mostly all we do now it's true you know I've got two episodes of Jedi Knight, uh, Jedi Academy, to air still. I just haven't yet. Yeah, we'll get to that. Our point, our so. our Wednesdays where we record that have not been favorable for a few weeks, yeah. but we still have a few unaired ones, so that's good. Yeah, Wednesday is a terrible day for me to record. Yeah, actually, for everybody, we've kind of we've kind of figured well, that one out. But we'll figure we'll it out. We'll probably have to find another day for that. Yeah, that's okay. But the episodes go all the way up to uh, Force Lightning 3. That's so, true. So there you go. It's it's very satisfying. To. I think we do the whole train level with Force Lightning 3. It's very rewarding. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, all right, kids and non-kids. Matthew Higdon. There's another one. Yeah. Yep. yep. Remember Child uh, of the nice 80s, name. 1981, who would like video and share on Twitter? Yeah, absolutely. God. Uh, yeah, uh, he, he still makes uh, videos on his own YouTube channel. Um, also, playing predominantly retro PC games. So we don't forget you. No, no, not at all. But some of you forget us. <laughs> we why can't are, really. Why are you say guilting that. our viewers? <laughs> you can't really say that with authority. I don't think. Either, no. We don't know if they remember us or not. I I do. You know? I okay. know. Cool. <laughs> I know. Matt has an awareness of these things. <laughs> just know these things. Yeah. Matt's Matt's like one of he's he's sort of a type of outsider, you know. He just has an awareness of people who know about him. When he shuts his <laughs> eyes, there's like a constellation, you know, of these connected points of light, and it's everyone who remembers him. And he really feels it when one of them winks on out. Awareness. It's like a light goes out in my mind. <laughs> it's, it's horrifying. Anyway. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. Try to stay safe, stay out of the smoke if you can. And uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk to you. We'll talk Get to yourself you some air filters, maybe a maybe a good mask. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure those won't be hard to find. I gotta go. It's after midnight. I'm turning into a gremlin. (laughs) uh, Yeah, Matt's getting salty. Let's wrap this up. Anyway, take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bye, everybody. Stick and stay. Bye.